another use of aloe vera juice is you can use it as a dripping to stop your makeup from dripping so basically it's setting in your makeup so what you need to do is uh, you take your aloe vera you have water and also another ingredient that I don't have at the moment is witch hazel so and and then the essential oil uh, what you need to do again like I said always make sure it's equal parts your aloe vera juice close it Oops. and your water this is again natural water not fizzy you can use mineral water or you can use if you're in those countries where they filter the water you can use it so you could have added also witch hazel but it still works well with just water and the aloe vera and then just drop i'm using lavender oil lavender oil today just put like one or two drops not a lot okay that's enough mix it nicely give it a nice stir again i like putting it in my jug to make it easier to put in my small bottle this is very nice it's portable you can just put it in your handbag walk around with it travel with it it's a nice travel kind of uh, bottle and it's it's easily available you can get it in a container shop get it from any supermarket in the makeup area section and it's very handy it's very useful you know and also make sure after you any new in equipment that you buy you have to clean it sanitize it give it a nice shake and that's it if, if you're gonna go to the sun or you're busy during the day in the office and you be like oh my god my makeup is dripping just again like i said whoo <laughs> yeah and it's and then it's very refreshing you just feel Ooh, I'm awake, you know what I mean? And at the same time, it also helps you to settle your makeup. Again, we go back to our pills or to the ones you have frozen or you've refrigerated. So if, let's say, you get a, uh, a bun, like, you know, you're cooking and then, or you're trying to straighten your hair and all of a sudden you, you get a bun on your neck or, or your child gets a bun, the first, first aid you're going to put and apply and will, it will help, you know, to remove the heat from the skin is aloe vera. All you need to do, you get a bun, if it's here, your, your neck, just apply, keep rubbing it for 10 minutes, rub, 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 rub. So it it kind of pulls out the heat that that is developing inside so the side effect or the burn will not be as much as if you didn't have to if you didn't do anything you know what i mean so just rub it rub and that's why aloe vera is such a nice uh plant to keep in your home you know just it's and then the thing is just get one you can get in the wild like for me i got mine from the desert i didn't have to buy and it really grows it gets babies it grows it grows it grows and it gets a lot a lot of babies one day i'll show you mine so that one is for for buns skin buns if you have any skin buns the next use of uh, aloe vera is if you have irritated skin you know i had some red patches oh yeah like here you see I, I have an itch here so again what you're gonna do is just rub it on on your itch where you feel like you're itching or you know like here i was i was turning red uh, i don't know why it was itching so the skin is irritated that's all you need to do you know just keep rubbing rubbing take like 10 minutes and let it dry let it let it settle on the skin you know what i mean yeah that's aloe vera like i said it's it's such a it's such a gold to me i i love it i'm i'm i am miss aloe vera <laughs> and now uh the next step i'm going to show you is you know sometimes you feel like your pores are open on your face so you can mix aloe vera with rose water again and uh you know just spray it on your face and it after you wash it it closes your pores you know what i mean so 
the same way that I had shown you before how you mix it with rose water. Just mix your aloe vera with rose water and it closes your pores. I mean, if you feel like the pores on your face is open because when you have open pores, the, the tendencies of germs getting in your skin are high and you're going to get blackheads and skin reaction and bacteria infection, all these things. So we don't, we want to avoid that. Okay guys, the next use, which I really, really love and it has really, really worked for me is to get rid of stretch marks, stretch marks stretch marks if you have kids you know what i'm talking about yeah so what you need to do this is coconut oil okay equal parts remember that always equal parts of coconut oil and your aloe vera okay you really don't need to use any measuring equipment i you know you don't need to come all this oh I, you know just use your if you're gonna put one cup it's one cup one one to one okay so my coconut oil put in my mixing bowl put aside my aloe vera juice mixing bowl put aside mix it very well Mix, 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 mix. And remember, every time you use it, you just give it a, a shake, you know, because sometimes it depends on which one is heavier than the other one, you know what I mean? So, after that, all mixed, you can put in a small container that you have. So, every day you just squeeze a little bit and use it as you wish. Concentrate on those areas with stretch marks. If it's, you know, here, on your tummy, on your legs, anywhere you have stretch marks. Remember, you have to use it for three months consecutive. You don't stop. Three months. Anywhere you have stretch marks. Three months. Tell me after using it for three months if your stretch marks are going to be the same. No. It fades, you know. It fades the way the stretch mark looks. If it was looking dark, it's going to be lighter. I'm not going to say it finishes all stretch marks, but the appearance and the new stretch marks forming will stop. You know what I mean? The appearance will look better, lighter, or looks like it's fading. And uh, the new stretch marks from developing will not happen. So please, for me, this is my greatest use because like I said before, I have three children and the stretch marks on my tummy i have used this one and it works so well and i've always i consistently use it sometimes i mix with my own moisturizer body moisturizer whatever you have mix it all together so you don't forget because if you put it separate sometimes it's hard to for, uh, to remember so just mix it with your body moisturizer so every day it becomes a daily routine you know so the next uh step i'm gonna be sharing with you is using it as a weight loss or detoxing so what you need to do, you remember the one I did before, I blended before and put vitamin, uh, vitamin C. So this is the one because I've used the other one that was, uh, I had put vitamin E to demonstrate all those I was showing you guys. So you take your aloe vera juice and mix it with your favorite juice, any juice you have, mix it. You know, it's detoxing. It helps with the weight loss. This one, I it's it's my my favorite smoothie. I put pineapple and banana. You can smoothie juice, whatever, whatever resonates with you, whatever you like. Aloe vera to take by itself is bitter and it doesn't taste really good. So just put your juice, your aloe vera juice, to your favorite smoothie juice whatever mix it and trust me if you use this let's say seven days every three months again aloe vera has side effects if you overdo it so remember you can use this 
how do I say? My fingers. Seven days. Mark that. Seven days every three months. So you know what I mean? So four times in a year. Then it helps you uh, detoxing. I'm, I'm sure there are other ways of what other people can tell you. But for me, that's what has worked for me. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. I don't taste... I don't feel any taste of aloe vera because it's all mixed up with my my smoothie. Mm. It's really good, guys. Okay, guys, finally, finally, we are on our last and final uh, uses of um, aloe vera. And I left this one purposely to the last minute because you can use aloe vera juice to remove your makeup. So you can all see that I have makeup on my face and that's why I left it to the end. And the same mixture that I had shown you before that you can use it as a toner, you can use it as a primer. It's the same. I still have a little bit left here. So I'm just going to finish that. Put aside this one and this is aloe vera okay put it in my mixing bowl put aside and then i'll take um, rose water i'll put aside as well this is my rose water rose water equal parts it aside so our table is clear mix it very well you guys can see that it's really good it smells good as well the rose water is just heavenly the way it smells I love it so it's ready and what I'm gonna do I have an empty bottle here I reuse this one it used to have a primer water from a company yeah and I don't usually I don't throw these bottles away when you get them please keep it because you can reuse it you can recycle it by putting your own stuff and you know the triangle here shows how much how many times you can re recycle your bottle so I had this one with a primer that I was using it a long time ago before I got to know about the DIYs and how I can save money making my own stuff. So when this bottle got empty, because like I told you earlier on, I travel a lot. So this one helps me. I put it in my handbag. It's portable. It's very handy. It's so good. So this is the one I'm going to use. Again, I, you can use a funnel if you have a funnel to make it easier to put it there. Um, but since the funnel is quite far from me now, I'm just going to put in my measuring jug. And remember, every time I use it, I clean it. So, because we have different ingredients, yeah? Okay, I can actually fill it up. We don't waste. No wasting! Okay, so. Give it another shake. Now you have your cotton swabs here, just the normal cotton swabs. It's like one pound, one dollar in a supermarket, five dirhams in Dubai. Okay, let's remove my makeup. Are you guys ready? So I'm just going to saturate my cotton swab with the mixture that I've just done it now. Once it's well saturated, uh, you know, you just... Oh, before I do that, I forgot. Um, just, you can, you have different ways. If you have that headband, if you have the shower cap, you can put it on. You know how it is, guys, when you're removing your makeup. So this is my shower cap. Usually when I'm in my bathroom, but because I'm just demonstrating today, when I'm in my bathroom, I put on my shower cap or I just put the, the headband, you know, the headband that will block the, the, my hairline. And just go ahead and remove your makeup. 
Do you see that? The brown? I had, I had, um, and usually I don't, when it's full like that, I don't just throw it away. So to see that side, it's still saturated, it's still, uh, still clean. So what I do is I just spray again. Guys, these are natural ingredients, you know, we don't need to, to go for this expensive over the counter stuff while you can do, oh my God, look at that. It's all coming out. Mm, you see that so since I don't want to put it here I'm just gonna put it on the floor and then later on I take it to the dustbin I get another swab because we need to remove all the makeup Now, guys, I need to show you how to remove makeup for your eyes, okay? Because we don't want any infection in your eyes. Please pay attention for this one. Oops. Don't put too much again that will might squeeze to your eyes. So all you need to do is from this end, you walk outside, okay? Don't do like this. No, you have to be very careful. See what I'm doing? Look at that. See my mascara and my, <laughs> my eyeliner, the black one. I turned the, the cotton, yeah? So it's both sides. And don't use it too much because, like I said, okay, that's enough with that. So I get another one. Okay, guys, Um, as you can all see, the makeup is actually all gone now. After, I, you, after you finish removing with the aloe vera mixture, you, all you need to do is just go wash your face nicely with uh, your face, face wash, whatever you have a soap or any liquid gel that you're gonna use it, and you're done, yeah? So you see that little is, is left. So all I need to do is just go and rinse my face off and that's it, and put your normal moisturizer that you normally use and i'm so glad you joined me today and i hope you enjoyed today's episode and these useful helpful tips on many uses of aloe vera please do not do not forget to subscribe to my channel please share these tips with your friends and if you have any more tips that you think that i didn't add like i said aloe vera has a lot a lot of uses please drop a comment on the box below and uh, like my video as well. And I will see you on the next episode. I'm enjoying my drink. <laughs>